Hey, it's Caden here, and um, today I'm going to be giving you guys a few art tips that have to do with memorization. And this is only for people who are really having trouble getting an idea down in their mind. And it's going to be using, uh, for my example, Pokemon. This is how I sort of started out drawing. So, um... So, essentially... So what happened, really is I decided, well, I want to start drawing, and this was quite a while ago, but I decided that, that you know, I want to draw. But I had little to no experience, pretty much, and I had no ideas, so I pulled out my Pokemon handbook. I think this is Generation 3 or 4. But anyways, I pulled out, and I started finding some simpler Pokemon. Uh, I actually, my first Pokemon that I ever did was Horsey right here. That was a pretty simple one. And I believe I also tackled Espeon and Execute and Eevee. Those are my first few Pokemon that I tried to do. And then I copied them straight out of the book once, you know, just looking at the book, copying everything down. And then I memorized their features and the ways to draw them. And eventually I was able to move on to harder things like Mega Venusaur and, um, and, like, in, like, all the Megas, and Golduck, Gulpin, and then Exploud, all that kind of stuff. And I would copy them down once or twice, and once I got them into my memory, I would simply just go ahead and, um, do them out of memory, really. That's how easy it is. For some people, this will, it'll only take one time copying it to get it in your memory. Um, and then other people will take many tries. But if you guys really want to get good at art, it's getting stuff memorized in any way that's possible. So, yeah. That also means watching tutorials, by the way, guys. That's another way that a lot of people memorize stuff. And if you want to see some tutorials, I've already got some posted and I'll be putting some more. My tutorials aren't of the highest quality, but they're still... Explan explanatory enough, I'm sure. See you guys later.